Hi everyone, this is Miss Scrapmas and I'm here with uh, a uh, skinny skinny mini album, I think it's called. Uh, it's really simple, you just take uh, a sheet uh, uh, eight, uh, 8 and a half by 11 I think. Or I used uh, A4 sheets as we have here in Europe. Uh, and uh, just by a few score marks you can get this beautiful album shape. It's about uh, 4 inches wide and uh, 8 inches high. So on the cover it's quite a lot. The back is quite plain. I've used some eyelets to hold uh, the ribbon that works as a closure and uh, the front is um, has uh, used uh, decorative uh, label one from Spellbinders with a, a stamp uh, from uh, Graphic 45 French Country. Uh, there's some prima prima bling here, and this is a sh uh, memory box die uh, from my stash. Uh, just and. Down below I've uh, put some uh, lace and pearl trim. I've also tucked in some, uh, mm, some bits and pieces from my stash. This is a compass. It doesn't work. Uh, this I'm not really sure what it is but it seemed to go well with, uh, with the rest uh, of the paper. Uh, here I've actually made a banner by the uh, the edge on the design paper which tells you the name so it's actually for this paper it's a magnolia 12 by 12 and it's from once upon a time collection and it's called turquoise rose ornament and it's gorgeous gorgeous shabby paper uh, here is a stick pin i received in uh, a swap i have some magnolia chandeliers crystals and uh, quite a lot of uh, different wild orchids cross roses or oh, flowers. Uh, there's the large uh, wild rose, there's the uh, 20 millimeters open rose. I have the 10 millimeter open rose, the carnation, the tulips and some more magnolia berries. Uh, uh, berries in, in, in tucked in between. So if we open up, it starts like this. Uh, here I've used the turquoise, uh, uh, turquoise rose ornament paper throughout the album, and I've mixed in some with the magnolia sea breeze, uh, mythic, myth, mythical oceans as well. To, the colors go great together and it brings a bit um, um, ah, not um, navy theme to it. But it's really simple, it's just a lot of uh, tags in here and uh, I've added some banners also from a magnolia stamp. This, uh, these are tags from uh, uh, magnolia company as well. I, I believe it's called Joe Hickey. Here is a tag made by using the Spellbinders and uh, Stability, uh, the stamps one. And I've just uh, stamped uh, some small stamps from my stash. Uh, I believe this is a Prima one and this is uh, the Team Holtz uh, uh, tiny ones. Uh, so here I have a pocket and again I've uh, used uh, the the name of the paper here and there's some tags and uh, I've just stamped it with the Seashore uh, Prima Seashore Collections clear stamp uh, to add some interest to them. Here is an, uh, my favorite thing uh, tickets uh, dynamic and I've just made uh, a little tag here with scraps uh, from the paper. Uh, 
again. Uh, so you can see the rose ornament paper, but uh, on the other side it's the uh, Seabreeze collection. But as you see, they go very well together. Uh, and here's just a little flip book. This is the new stamps from Graphic 45. Oh, not new, but, uh, sorry, new to me. But it's the By the Sea collection uh, from stamp set 3. So it's just this on the front and it's plain inside for to add photos or journaling. Tucks in there nicely. And then here we have a side with just uh, pockets. So there's the uh, tags. Here's a tag from the Prima Seashore collection, the tags and tickets uh, package. Uh, I've just uh, swapped the, the twine with some satin ribbon to make it fit uh, more of the theme in, in the album. Uh, I made my own tag uh, here, just used a corner punch, uh, added uh, a fussy cut uh, the sea banner stamp from Magnolia and added uh, a ship uh, from Prima Sea Shore collection as well. This is also in the same clear set, uh, set of clear stamps that this uh, little compass is. And also there's a larger pocket down here which uh, uses the entire size of the album and uh, I've just uh, tried to make uh, a fancy edge here uh, using my uh, Martha Stewart uh, lazy, do uh, lazy doily punch, uh, well one of those edge punches uh, and I've stamped uh, Use some stamps from Graphic 45 French Country. Uh, on the inside, it's just plain the turquoise paper, uh, just some stamps. Um, sorry, tags. I've used a doily here to make a pocket. And on the other one, it's those uh, Magnolia stamps again, um, more more tickets, and uh, another uh, nestability uh, tag. The last page is very similar again. This nestability stamp here, I have it, some. Um, Stamp die cut, sorry, and then the stamps are from uh, Bow Bunny, Prima, and uh, this is actually Graphic 45 French Country. More of the Magnolia Joe Hickey tag. I love this tag, it's so, so fun. I don't know if you can see that the edges are, it looks a bit chipped. Uh, here uh, I just used... Uh, an envelope die and uh, is assembled it with the another C banner, uh, another homemade tag from Scraps, uh, the smaller size of the same as nestability set as this one, a ticket, sorry, and a ticket from the Prima Seashore. Uh, tickets and tags. You saw the other tag, it's from the same package. And here I just made a little booklet uh, again using the Graphic 45 by the C stamps. Uh, it's just, it actually just folds like this. So it's nothing complicated but more places for journaling and pictures. And that is the back. So thank you very much for watching and uh, if you want to know more about the products, uh, what products I used or if you have any questions just leave me a comment or check out my blog which I link below. Thank you very much for watching. Bye!